Good evening, welcome in to another edition of From Day One. The evening edition, of course. And our auditor subs, it's Karen's, are all waiting for us. And we'll start with one who is trying to pull one of those right to travel bullshits. However, he's also doing it while naked. Now I'm getting pulled over by the Missouri. I'm getting pulled over by the Missouri State Patrol now. You, you, you do know why that is, Thomas. Right? Because you don't follow the law? Anyway. <laughs> I literally just got up. How's it going today, sir? Howdy. Step on out, please. Um, I'll pass, sir. You're under arrest about. For what? For not having a registration. Yes. Yes, you can go to jail for not having a registration. RSMO 301.020 says it right there. Up to six months in jail. Register your vehicle. Okay. And are up to a thousand dollar fine on a Class B misdemeanor. Now back to our naked sub set. Um, I'm a, sir. I I'm American national. I'm a private American national. I do not register Don't my private property. Are you vehicle? So this is a uh, what? I'm sorry, sir. sir who, hold on, I have to give you. I have to give you notice. No, you yes, I do, out. sir. You're under arrest. Sir, I did not do anything yes, wrong. You cannot just grab me like you this. Do not have registration. I'm a private vehicle. American national. Is that a crime? I am a cop, and you will respect my authority. Under, of carbon. Under the you Fifth Amendment, have I have a right. Under the Don't argue. sir, under the Fifth Step Amendment, out. I have a right to. Step out. So, <laughs> Sir, I'm g grabbing you a notice, sir. That's fine. Am I being violent? You know, no, I'm giving you a notice. Get out. Let's see if this helps. You cannot just grab me out of my car get like this, out. sir. I'm a private American national, sir. I I do not contract with the government. You are violating my rights, sir. No. Go get your get your get your superior. Get I your superior. superior. You are get not out. a superior, dude. Get out. I don't. I don't even understand what's happening. I'm not doing anything wrong. Many people know, Mr. Garrison. Oh, here is a legal note, sir. Stop. What are you doing? Get Am I being vehicle. violent? Yes. I'm not doing anything wrong. Here's a public notice. Get out. Okay, you have to take this, sir. Get out. You have to take this. I'll get it as soon as you get out. Sir, I'm not getting out until you take my public notice. Oh, you really? Yeah. Sir, you have to take my public notice. No, he doesn't. You have to take my notice first, sir. No. I'm not doing anything. He doesn't. Wrong. Get out. Sir, listen. Get out. You're Get out. ridiculous right now, sir. Yeah. You out. can't take me out of my car You're unless I let you. Watch him. I'm not doing. For what, though? I didn't do I anything wrong. Out. What did I do wrong, sir? I told you. Sir, you you're not getting me out of this head. car unless I allow you to. Unless you tase me or shoot me with your gun. Okay. You get a step out of the car, sir. sir, listen, you have to take my notice first. No, he doesn't. Sir, I have to get out. Yes, you do. Yeah. Take my notice first. And then I will get out peacefully, sir. Get out right now. You'll take get out of the car first. now. Okay, you guys, listen to this. I'm getting violated right now, and I'm trying to give this officer, a peace officer, public notice of my private capacity. Nobody cares. I'm an American national, and look at this. This is ridiculous. You guys, you guys are going. You, you're in trouble for this, sir. No. Here, take take my notice and my no identification. Okay, sir. If uh, listen, listen. Sir, I'm being reasonable with you, sir. You are I'm not. not going, listen, I'm not going to fight you if I get you out. Are fighting you are fighting. I'm trying to hand you a notice, I sir. Said after you got out, I would take I'm it. I'm talking out. to you. Listen, okay, when out. I step out, I'm not We're going not to arguing. resist you. Step out. Will you grab my notices, please? After you get out. Step out, because... Tell him, Carmen. Dude, listen to me. After you get out. Okay, well, you, well just fell on the ground. Okay, we'll but get it after you listen, get out. I have a bad shoulder and I've had six out. spinal surgeries. Get out. And when I get out, I'm not going to resist you, sir. Good, step out. Good, because you okay. are. I'm already resisting you because you haven't gone out. you are being ridiculous. Have I committed a crime, sir? I already told you that. Yes, he already told you. You've committed a crime. You need to register your vehicle. You know this. 
And yes, punishment, up to six months in jail. No, I did not. Get out. Stop, sir. What are you doing? I'm not Get being in. Get out. You are being violent towards me. Okay, I, this is my bad shoulder, too. Get out. Okay, Get when the I get hell out, I'm not going to resist. Out. So, okay, I'm already putting my arms around my back. Okay. Thank you. I'm not resisting, dude. I was trying to... You are so dude, resisting. Thank you. Okay, the boy isn't naked, but he's naked from the waist up and wearing a pair of pajamas with no shoes. Hell, that's even worse of a fashion crime. And traffic crime, not wearing any shoes, driving a car? Seriously. Oh, look at it. It didn't take your papers. Unfortunately, Ron, no. No, you can't fix stupid. The old thing goes, stupid is, is what stupid does. Because it's quite stupid. All right. So, while we're going on. Oh, sorry, I almost had a burp there. Yeah, let's do that. KFAR, are you ready? Hey guys, KFAR back again. Once again, today we're going to look at a few officers who are forcing auditors to get their steps in. Ooh. Hopefully that goes okay, and I'm going to be eating angel food cake the entire time. Enjoy. Hey, you didn't bring me any. And back now, yes. So this is Alfred Yacht. He is doing a uh, 911 call because Rancho Police will not leave us alone at the, at the uh, City Hall. Doing a 911 call because cops won't leave you us. alone. When you try to approach them to ask them why they are following us. I'm trying to file a formal complaint. Oh, sorry. Because they have been watching us for the last 45 minutes and they're not doing anything. We're not breaking any laws. What a Karen. I want your supervisor. My name is Karen. Karen. Oh, poor baby. I'm not giving you Attempt one. You don't need my name to do that. Yes, he does. I got it. How about you find him? He's blocking the room. Look at that. Yep. Did you get that on camera? Yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I saw him circle around, yeah. He was in the turn lane. Calm down. <laughs> I was going to say. Uh-huh. If that's blocking the road, man, <laughs> he needs some uh, glasses. Like I said, 9199 Golf is his plate number. So, <laughs> they're committing a traffic violation. Dude, you're standing in the middle of the road. I don't know if he knows this. He's a person. He's not supposed to be there. But, hey, whatever. And he's filming that traffic infraction. Down. Sure. I'm so sorry to get my family, but I have it. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it is what it is. I'm, I'm not going to put myself in the position to get a ticket for some bullshit reason because they want to find out who we are. I feel afraid to get into a vehicle and drive down the street right now. Same. It, it, it's why I'm not leaving until they do. Explain. It, 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 he, he's in there watching by, um, the, behind the bushes. 
Yeah, he's behind the bushes. I can see behind the bushes there, dumbass. You're not very stealthy, stupid. Mm hmm. Okay. All right, they are literally wasting taxpayer dollars watching us. Now I know why you had angel food cake. You should have warned me, KFR. <laughs> we might be stuck for a while. Gee. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay, what they're trying to get us to do is because they know we keep walking up to them. They keep backing up to that property to try to get us to open it. So they can incite in Because let's say that is private property. No, it's the uh, it's the event center, so it's so it's public property. It. You want to go? You want to go on there? Because this guy put himself in a stupid position. Did he? I mean, it's still public property. You know? As long as as long as she has a um, great okay, sidewalks and stuff. Yeah. Well, no, I still gotta be in the walkway. Crossing the crosswalk and you walk right there. I'm gonna get there. Yeah, you should. Oh, that's such a huge waste of resources. Oh, it is. They've been following us. Okay, so let's just get this out of the way. Go so, for it. Uh, the original video, I don't even know where the hell the original video came from. I got it from Unclean Hands. Go over there, sub to him. Great guy. Yes, but Unclean Hands. Apparently they were there after hours at the uh, city hall. Two weird guys sitting outside of a bit like a city hall. Oh, they're After pulling hours, a chili. Not doing anything for forty-five minutes. That may, you know, raise some questions. They're probably <laughs> they're like overthinking it. These officers are just there making sure nothing's happening because you don't want two random people going up to a closed business and just creeping on it for forty-five minutes. And for this whole oh, they're wasting police tax dollar tax dollars. If they're on the clock and they're not actively getting calls, they can sit wherever they want, really. But these guys are like, oh, everything's about me. They're here to watch me. Like, shut the fuck up. It's like, Correct. Uh, no, but, uh, no, well, get this on camera. City Hall's been closed since 5 p.m. All employees have left except for the ones that are required to stay late because of their schedule. Mm -hmm. So why are the police still here? Because you're there. Correct. See how I can play it off if I wanted to, and you can get it on recording if you want to. I can walk on that private property, try to get the attention of an officer because I am trying to file a complaint, and there's no service call for me trespassing, so they can't trespass me. <laughs> Wrong. Uh, go. I'll walk from the curb, but one guy's clearly not trying to get arrested. Yeah, yeah one guy's like, yeah, no, I'm gonna go home tonight. Cool. <laughs> it definitely is, but I'm not trespassing because there's no service call for them to trespass me. Not required. No. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they, they, they're city property stored here, so yeah, it's a city building. Again, not so. And yeah, uh, I'll watch you from down here. Interrupted. We're going to watch the whole thing. Oh, goody. It might trigger them. <laughs> He's I guess I get to do more riffing. I'm not going to chance going in there because they are watching us. Mm -hmm. uh, because you're an idiot. It is for the public. Worst right. auditors ever. Yes. Definitely. Worst coward auditors ever. True. building looks like it says the HP building, so it's probably private property. You know that Packard? Uh, good. We can go as far as as far as the, uh, the, the stop sign. Why? They don't ever stop you guys. You think stop means go? Also. It does say HP right here, so it's more than likely private property, which is why they're only going to go so far. Another reason why these officers may be here, it happens all the time where you get a call from someone like, hey, we've had a person at this property, we've had some things broken into, stolen, cars vandalized, something, and you can put in a, a request to the police department. 
where Hank Please he does her. roll up extra between this time and this time. This these people may have called and said, "Hey, can you have like a little extra patrol? Just swing by there when we're closed." Which could also explain why the cops are there and also not talking to them. They're just keeping an eye on them. Freaking ninja boy left. Oh no, there he is. This dude's dressed in all black, swinging around his keys. But yeah, that's ninja boy over here. Now I know why he mentioned the way he did. From this dude. These boys are definitely getting their pedometer steps in. that view of the mountains, though. That is a pretty good view. So now you're trying to surround an officer. Not the smartest play, but okay. I was going to say, as Chili would say from ESPN 8, the Orcho, bold move, Cotton, let's see if it pulls off for them. <laughs> freaking, freaking, uh, it runs the fuck away again. He's slowly on, driving. He's driving at what? Eight miles an hour, maybe ten? But he's running away! He's running away? What a runaway. They're not even taking off fast. Like, these guys could easily catch them if they, you know... If hustle. they, you know, walked more than 0 0.1 miles a year. There he goes, running away. Again. He's not running away! He's just not got his foot He's on the brake! His friend over here. Bigfoot style. So close. Three years later. What the hell did I tell you fuckers about if you're going to use your phone, get a little micro thing that blocks out the wind? You didn't hear that. Uh, they said that they're afraid to leave because they think the officer is going to attack them because he hasn't introduced himself. People who have been waiting around, it's probably closer to an hour since City Hall closed, and they're just there. No purpose. Nothing to do. They're just there, trying to get the attention. Of yeah, the they're just officers. idiots. Nice, okay. I'm starting to fucking get agitated. I'm starting to Because you're a pansy. They, they're supposed to identify themselves, and they haven't. Neither of them have. What time is it? It is currently 540. Uh, yeah. City Hall has been closed for 40 minutes now. Anytime an officer sees a civilian, they don't have to introduce themselves. Correct. Mr. Farr. We have done nothing wrong. Other than doing everything wrong. I agree. 
Ah, this video genuinely makes me happy. Well, yeah, because you're eating angel food cake and I'm not. And the officers aren't doing anything wrong by driving past City Hall. No, definitely not. I want to speak to your brain. Please let your brain out. So you're not using it. On the, uh, the benches over there and, and, and wait until they show up? All right. I feel safe reading. I feel like it's going to be your talent place. It is. It really is. This is why we do audits. Shit like this. Mm-hmm. That's because you're losers. That's why you do audits. Yeah, Correct. Fuck you, you idiot. Yep, they are. There's zero reason for them to be... Zero reason for them to be following us. At all. They're not following you, you delusional halfwits. So normally a sergeant or a lieutenant is the highest ranking person at a police station at any given time. When I worked regularly, there would only be a sergeant. That would be the highest ranking person there. So this Karen requesting their supervisor seems kind of ignorant. <laughs> kind of? <laughs> I got the plate number of the ninja... The uh, the uh, the truck one I think is it's 19 something and I know that like 1902 1908 something like that. Yeah, if we take off now, they'll fucking follow us and give us and give us a ticket. Just yeah. Pretty much. That's that's not how tickets work. No. Uh, I'm not breaking this work. I know that. I, I know, but they're gonna try to say that something's out. If they can find something, yeah, that yeah, means something's fucked up. Yeah. No, I don't want them to clear. I want to make a complaint. I don't want them to clear. I want to make a complaint in their supervisor. Go ahead. Sir, you're an idiot. And yet you're the idiot still there. Okay. If you can justify why you pulled somebody over, none of this makes sense. <laughs> it's because you're a bum. Of course you're a bum. I can't. I can't record right now. My phone's at twelve percent. Oof. You didn't bring your freaking USB with you? Uh, I told well, you. My battery pack was staying alive a little longer. Did you not charge it? I did. Huh. Look at that. Get a picture of that. Look like on city property. Beer. Ooh. Yeah, beer on city property. So drinking on the job. Interesting. How do you know that wasn't some other person who tossed it in? So let's... Or... Or... The building's closed. They could have been drinking the beer and planted it there. That like too. Homeless people could come by. People could drink there in the middle of the night. Like it, Common sense and logic just escapes every auditor, and I don't understand how they are even breathing on their own at this point. I haven't seen proof that they are yet. <laughs> yeah, retaliatory bullshit. Resources fucking wasted. Wrong. Because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here tomorrow. I'm going to file online an IFRA request for all calls on hold from the time I showed up to the time I left. Nice. <clears throat> for after 5 p.m. Do what? No. I didn't see anything, now. All right, we're going to take a break from these guys getting their only Thank exercise you. for the year. So how the system that was at the job that I previously had, you had, it was like two boxes. The top boxes were the active calls that officers were either dispatched to and on their way or where they were currently at. And then you'd have all the held calls. Sometimes we didn't have held calls. Sometimes we had 
two officers at every incident because we had no calls. The moment we would get a new call, one of those officers would get sent to the new call. If they're sitting there and watching you, there's probably no calls. They don't see anything right now. They might be at a call, and then they'll come right back and be like, "Hey, are those creepy dudes that are?" Are they creepy dudes still creepy? Still yes. <laughs> like common sense. Just... <laughs> are creepy still creep? I've already made one complaint on two of their offices. I'm making another. Good. Karen. Yes, Karen. This is why we do what we do. There is no reason why the police should be watching us and why they should be monitoring us when we have not broken a law. We have not violated a state statute or a city ordinance code. This is the reason why we do what we do. Because you're a creepy moron? Because you're unemployable. That's why you do what you do. Yes. At this point, they drive to the Rio Rancho Police Department to be an idiot. Windows up, sorry. Fucking idiots. Two nine six. We want you to be in, stop being an idiot. We don't get our choice. They never spoke to you. How are they harassing you? <laughs> you know you want to be is? stupid? Okay. Wait, they got a warrant for their arrest? So do you not want to file a complaint or what? I want to know more about this warrant for the arrest. I don't know why that video just got better after that. It was this one who came to me earlier, 1952. I recognize the officer. The only reason why we're upset is because two is because. Two of your buddies were were following us around after City Hall closed. We we were not harassing anybody. We weren't doing anything to the property. We we're, we're just walking around. I, was cool with you, dude. I know. Yes, sir. Yeah, they'll arrest you in a moment. Who's Think that tight. supervisor that was in the fourth floor? Be on mark. Oh, I'm not sure, man. We got a lot of people coming back from the street. The shift case of people coming and going. Think, okay. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. I don't know why, I know it's just going crazy right now. Alright, so we're just going to stop right there because you can barely hear him. This guy is such a uh, little bitch that he doesn't want to approach the officers. Um, yeah, so basically probably what they're going to do is 
Laughing. This officer on the right thinks that this guy has a warrant. So they're going to get his information, run him to see if he has a warrant. And if he has a warrant, when he comes to make the complaint, they're just going to arrest him. Yay. Which I'm absolutely fine with. Don't dress up in all black. Don't sit an hour outside of City Hall after it closes. Because you just look super sus. Ah, someone plays I enjoyed um, what the officers okay. did. They were just keeping an eye on the property. There were some creepy guys there after hours. And they made him get exercise. Auditors always need exercise. You don't want to look like Glenn Sirio. Hopefully everybody enjoyed the video. Oh, again, unclean hands. Go subscribe to him. Throw him some likes. Yes, please do, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Peace. Also, throw it to K. Far. He's also a nice guy as well. Alrighty. Well, let's see what else do we have available for us on this, the Wednesday edition. Oh, yeah, Mike. We haven't done you in a while because of the fact that we moved more of our court cases to the afternoon session. But we actually have an auditor. We can definitely do an auditor with you. Hell yes. Let's do an auditor. So Mike with us from Law Talk. Mike, First Amendment auditor. A loud, loud Tusa or something like that. I think it's how it's pronounced. So, yeah, guys, we're in Watusa Post. We're at the Watusa Post office here. We're in Watusa, Wisconsin. You guys know this guy? No, he's called a moron, Mike. Saturday is 93. It's currently 1030. I, I invited Artie. Oh, Artie would be awesome. Oh, Artie would be awesome. Think about uh, think about sending the invite over to Deborah Davis then. Deborah Davis would be fun to do with an auditor. Yep. <laughs> oh. Again, I'm sorry guys, I don't know why. Just my nose in the last nice half hour. guys. I keep going from inside, from outside to inside. Get a better phone! Jesus! There you go, zoom in on the most mundane, mean absolutely nothing stuff in the universe. Come on, you're the auditor. You're supposed to find poster seven. Said you're just looking at the envelope. I wanted to, frankly, this is an excuse to just hang up. Oh my god, a job reference, you know. Get a job! Credit card policy, you know, most vital, vital pieces of information. You know, idiot poster seven, the brainchild of all you fucktards is right over there. That would be nice. Can I just do that like, just for one second? I just want to get a picture of that. Sorry. There he goes, there he goes for poster fuck. Thank you, sorry about that. Yeah, this guy's taking fucking forever to warm up. Again, way to go looking at the envelopes. Here. He's just desperate to get some attention. Yeah, I would concern. say so, Mike. It ain't working for him, though. Um. 
Give us a wait and learn. Why, you want to buy your two cent stamp? Do you have a quote unquote excuse of being there? <sighs> Yeah. I just need to get a stamp. Did you want a stamp? Yes, ma'am. Are you recording me? Yes, ma'am. Oh, no. Uh oh, it looks like he's uh he's been watching Old Squishy Gardener. Always recording. <laughs> How dare you trash Old Squishy Gardener? He, he's a whole lot better than this idiot. Alright, that means 58 cents. God, I swear it used to be like... Don't you hate it when you go to auto and post office and you run into the nicest employee in the country? 55. I mean, won't go ahead and give you your content. Yeah, I Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Yep. Gosh, I damn. I'm sorry, guys. I and public employees and of I got 40 I'm trying to keep it. It is so cold outside right now. Give me a little bit. Oh, I can. I, I, no, you can't. Yes, I can. It's against federal regulations. You cannot go. Really? Because there's a sign on, that I just filmed right there that says I can. Where? Show me. Okay. Mm -hmm. We don't care that you knocked your yeah, phone yeah, off. Thanks for the notation. Sorry, no worries. It's right here. Hold on a second. Right there, the rules are regarding conduct on postal property. Which one? Photographs for news and advertising purposes. Are you news? Yes. Can I see your credentials? There's no credentialing service, sir. I'm a YouTuber. I have 67,000 subs. Brag. It's the rule. The regulation. Wait, you just said he had 67,000 subs. I didn't check. Uh, there were like no views on this video. I just, I just grabbed it a little bit ago. That's because there are no <laughs> views on it, Mike. Uh, you and I are giving it its first views. Well, but I figured most of you would, uh, wouldn't want to give it a view and rather watch it here. Now you can take a picture of your you tell me that I can't walk yeah. into the courthouse and become a courthouse? This property, postal regulation. That's federal property? Correct. Federal property is federal property regulation. Yeah, so well, it says right here, not this one, public assembly, but this one. It says photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, squares, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except where prohibited by official signs or security force personnel. Yeah, for official meetings. No, there's an or right there. Or auditorium when used. Yes, it means adding all of them together. When used for public yeah. meetings. Okay, you're looking at the auditorium. Except, okay, look, I'm buying a stamp. May be taken in entrances, lobbies, lawyers, quarters, or auditoriums okay. when used for public meetings. It's not a public meeting. No. Except. We are prohibited by official signs of security personnel. So it's saying you can photograph if it's used for a public meeting. It's not a public meeting. This is not a public meeting, no, but it's a public lobby. Doesn't matter. I can take video and picture. You can show that right now, and I'm telling you, you're, not, you're in violation. That okay, tell you the postmaster. Public meeting. I'm currently the one in charge of the station. Okay, what's your name? So I, can, so I know what you're complaining on. Hear me. It's, it's the same routine every time. It's, it's almost charming. We're going to parse the one sentence and, and ask for the postmaster. <laughs> You're going to make your Okay. So, but our regulations show okay. that if it's for a public meeting, yes, you can. No, it does not say it's, I just read it off to you. It says, read it again. Uh, okay. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or. Yes. There's an or there. Yes. There's yes. a yes. comma yes. and an or. Finish the sentence. Auditoriums. When? When used for public meetings. Exactly. Yes. But that's for the auditoriums. No, not the it is Why not. Why would they have a meeting in the you lobby? You jackass. That's ridiculous. I'm just going to go buy a stamp. I'm not even going to talk to you anymore. Why would they have a public meeting in the lobby? It's for all federal crimes. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I, I need to buy a stamp. Oh, did I give you the money? Okay. I'm not line. turning you off. You got to do what you got to do, bro. I'm serious. You, you got to do what you got to do. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm doing business. I'm doing business. I'm going to do the regulation. You're not abiding by it. 
Okay. You need to leave. Okay. No. That means get out. I'm getting a stamp. Then turn that off. No. Yes, you're not allowed. Get the frick. I can film in public. No, oh. you cannot film this is property. This is a federal property. You cannot Look film. Up. I just read you the regulations. We are not in a public meeting right now, so you cannot film. You're, you're okay, sir. Don't worry. I'm sorry. So, turn off your... No. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oops. Swords is in one. Put it in this button. Put it in. I'm just saying. I'm just gonna get your information from your vehicle and the phone. Okay. No, call him now. I'll wait for him. I'm not gonna run from the cops. You kidding me? That's how you get shot in this country. You said eight cents? Yeah. God damn it, I never got any more than that. I just had a nickel. <laughs> Sorry about that, ma'am. It's okay. You said eight cents? He's going to spend for being stupid with that girl, so, so let's continue. In old post offices, they don't have jurisdiction. They can, they can work their way around it, but in old post offices built before 1940. I doubt that's the case here. Okay. It ain't the case, Mike. Man, this guy just does not know about public photography. Good God almighty. Oh, hold on, Mike. You did what? Yeah, there she is. Have you been watching some of this? I tried to, yeah, so then when I was logging in, I missed the last few minutes, but it has been a lot of... Don't worry, nothing happens in an audit. Hey, by the way, that voice you hear is the lovely prosecuting attorney of Judge 23B, George Middleton's Deborah Davis. Oh, good. So, sir, please stop videotaping. Sir, here <laughs> where it says that you're not permitted to videotape. Sir, I'm asking you to leave. Yeah, it's the same That's routine every time. This is this is Glenn Ciro without... without Thankfully, the nasty. Yes. It's like a vanilla Glenn cereal scenario here. Well, and this poor guy, the man with the badge, who's not the postmaster, but he's a supervisor, not just a clerk. I mean, the, the auditor must know the entire hierarchy of the postal system to know who to ask for. But sure. He does. He does get a. He does waste a cop's time. He's kind of <laughs> Yeah, it's time for a cop. Oh, there you go, Lisa. Yeah, it's not illegal. It's actually on the rules and regulations regarding conduct on postal property that I'm allowed to do this, but the, uh, one of the supervisors was freaking out. The lady at the front desk, you know, I had an issue with it. I was doing business, and I just told him, I said, hey, look, it's public property. Not breaking the law. It's, yeah, it's federal. It's no, public. Uh, actually, independently owned. So this, this whole, the, this is a, not a federal post office. This is not a yes and no, but uh, um, but and I'm reporting me. as well. So oh, that's fine. But, but Mike, Deborah wants to talk. They, they, they do this all the time. It, it turns out, I guess it is federal property, which is weird because the post office is, is sort of quasi non-government now. It was always federal before. There is an obscure rule that 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 uh, post offices. Um, that were built before 1940. They, for some reason, they, they, that's federal jurisdiction. And the and the local police don't have jurisdiction. But this is past that, so it doesn't fall within. It. Okay, so he's, he's so he this officer does have jurisdiction, and he's uh -huh. correct. But he Deborah. doesn't know that because he heard one thing, and he, you know, and it's obscure and weird. Is independently run from the government, so okay. it's, it's federal, but. I mean, your purpose is for what? To just record people? It's to be no, a moron. I'm, I'm a journalist. I'm gathering content for a story. And what is that in regards to? Well, it was just seeing what the uh, service was like here. Okay. And then now it's about this. It's about what? <laughs> What's going on here with this supervisor and file right. complaints and whatnot. And okay. So if I go talk to the supervisor, they want to leave. You are going to leave. You do know that, right? I mean, if I'm not breaking the law, I don't see why I should. Have you, you, what business are you here to do, though? I, I, Your business is concluded, my, correct? No, my journalistic business has not been concluded. Okay, yet. but being a journalist, do you have any type of press card on you? Anything that you as, as journalist? Okay, can I ask you? Can I ask you one question? Hold on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. 
is there a is there an accreditation service that accredits that accreditates or accredits uh, <laughs> journalists? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm just saying. Actually, journalists, yes. yes, there is. If you are somebody for the Associated Press, the AP would accredit you. If you're somebody for a major news network, ABC, NBC, CBS, they would accredit you. And most likely that badge would be laminated with your name, your title, where you're out of, basically which jurisdiction, like if you were AP Midwest, AP Washington. It's going to say, Yes, there is accreditations. Just because, of course, you're not a journalist and never going to be, you don't know. But take it from somebody who had both in, in the mainstream and otherwise, there is accreditations. Stop being a tweet. Get a real job. Press independent. But, yeah, but that's, that's, that's usually things. that's usually like okay. the bigger media companies. Right. Me, I just. I'm just a smart you YouTube channel. Me? No, I don't. You don't? Mm -hmm. uh, what's your name? I, I don't feel like giving it unless I've broken a law. You've uh, broken a law? I'm causing a disturbance. I'm not causing a disturbance right now. No. Yeah, you are. No, that's, why, that, that's why they called me. I, I, I really don't feel like it. Me videoing and exercising my are first amendment rights. Are you videoing right now? Yes. Okay. Me exercising okay. my first amendment rights is not causing a disturbance. Yes, it is. It's free speech. It was actually the gentleman, the okay. supervisor, who was causing the disturbance. Okay. I was just, ex I was just exercising That's because my they work here and they run this place. Yes. yes. And do you know what? Do you know what the First Amendment entails? Freedom okay. of speech, okay. freedom of press, okay. freedom of religion, okay. freedom of dress or government of okay. grievances. And you're not press. You're going to talk with the, the manager. Okay, so you're going to kick me out. If yes. I, okay. Yes. Okay. And then you can go to Wallace's Police Department, and file a complaint against Officer Jeremy Brown, or you can do everything you need to do. Okay. So, all right. It, it won't be a complaint, it'll be a federal lawsuit. Mm. I don't know where this is. Somebody tell me in the chat. Where is this? You're in Wisconsin. That's just remind me of Serial Creepio. It's Glenn Creepio. Not even Glenn Serio, Greg Creepio. Wisconsin? Yes, Wisconsin. Yes, it is, Mrs. Deborah Davis over there from Michigan. So I heard you did a live earlier. I did. I just I kind of got to that door. Were the ghosts involved? No, I'm at my office. Um, it's it's snowed here, so it's not the best weather to do one with the ghosts, but. Oh, we'll, we'll get little Mikey back on because he loves uh, some good snuggles. Can, can I show you the regulations real quick that says I can do this? That you can just film everybody yes. in here for news and advertising. Okay. And for this is this is uh, music. If you have a signed release from all these people, is everybody in here? Does anybody want to be filmed? They don't need to have a signed uh, release on public <laughs> property. Thing, whatever he's doing. I love this Anybody officer. With a show of hands, want to be on this guy's video? Speak now, bro. Hold your beat. I'm not videoing them. I'm videoing you. But I'm just saying, nobody videos. wants me out here. So your first name is? I'm not giving it to you unless I broke the law. Let's go right now. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I do. Have him go outside. He's got me. <gasps> I'm just, he uh, didn't say fast outside, though. Yep. 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 I think assault. Right here. That's assault. assault for, yeah, assault. Did I break the law? They don't want you here. So I, you have no. Can I stand outside and film? No, you cannot. This is public property. You can go on a public. This is not public property. This is federal this property. This is federal property, yes, but it's independently run by the post office. Okay. It's a separate entity from everything else. It's a else. federal government office, sir. Yes. yes. Go yes. stand somewhere else. They don't want you in here. Get, get a supervisor. I would, I would request a supervisor. You what? want to talk to a supervisor? Yeah, I'd talk to a supervisor. Uh, what for? Because you're making a big mistake right now. 
I, I don't care. You're violating the I don't care. Go stand somewhere else. They don't want okay, to. You're, you're going to violate the constitutional rights. I'm not violating your constitutional rights. It's more a place of business. And they don't watch it. It's, it's, film and it's a federal government office. It's just the same thing if I go into the county building or the police station. This the is same not the fucking thing. This is not the kind co- of. This is a place where people are, are trying to get yeah, yeah, jurisdiction yeah. here. This is federal property. This is in the city of Wauwatosa. It doesn't matter. It's federal property. All right? It's like if you were trying to enforce law. What, what's your name? You call me a good citizen, though. What's that? No, I want good your name now. For what? If you know all your uh, constitutional rights. What I'm asking, I'm here because you're disturbing the peace. I now I have a right to identify you. I haven't been disturbing the peace. Yes, you have. Okay, you're going to arrest me if I don't give you my name? Uh, no, I'm going to take you, detain you, take you to the station, and we'll find out who you are. How? Physically, by force. You're going to force. You're going to force. force me to identify. So you're going to violate my fourth amendment right now, too. Yes, yes, we're going to violate. Oh, fuck that, Mike. Really? This guy's got to put on the tank. But it's the same way he picks up chicks and gets laid. God damn, this guy wants me to grab my baseball bat with barbed wire. Oh, yeah, there we go. All these rights are we missing? That, that is. Yes, oh, yes. yes. I would request the supervisor before you do that. You're going to identify yourself. Okay. And then we can be done by this. Special blip. Yeah, I... Mm. I That's very classy. I don't know what this guy looks like. I think I saw his face. I mean, I just, like, went to record it, and I saw his face. But, I mean, he, sh- he sure shouldn't really be talking around like he's got big game. I want to request a su- I, I, I want to request a supervisor, so please call supervisor, and then he can. He- hey, I've got a fucking moron out here. Do you want me to taste his ass? I'd be happy to. Yep. This, uh, yep. They're violating rights. I like the supervisor. Violating so many rights right now. All the rights. <laughs> All the rights, blood. Okay. All the rights. There is things you can do. But yeah, it, it says it. on the regulations in the post office that I can do this. That's fine. That's fine. And it doesn't say that I need to get to get people's consent because it's a public building, it's a public lobby. But they don't want to be part of your video. I'm not You're videoing, videoing for people. commercial reasons or no. Whatever. I said news, advertising, and commercial purposes is what it's, it's under. Yes, and then he's gonna lie to you and tell you it's for something else when it's not. So much news. He's just getting so much news right now. Let's move ahead because this guy's an idiot. Did you read the whole thing? Yeah, I did. You're only allowed to do it, one, with their permission. And if there's That's a public meeting Other going photos. Ahead. Other photos. And, uh, with okay. a public, and there's no public meeting going. He did, no. The postman just showed me everything. He's not the postmaster. Well, he's the person in charge of this thing right here for the purpose of right now. interaction. Is he's the top person at this building. Okay. So he's the one saying there's not a public okay. meeting going on right if now. If you read it, there's an or and a, there's a comma and an or. Okay. Because it does not include audit, auditoriums are a separate from lobbies, instances for for That's, that's your interpretation of that, right? Am I gonna take your school. am I gonna take your interpretation for it? Or am I gonna take the guy who's worked here for twenty five years? The guy who's so worked here he's for twenty five years. To leave now. Okay. So are you, you are being told to leave now. So you're going to arrest me if I don't walk off the property? Yes. Okay, but I'm waiting for a supervisor. So can I wait here or should I wait right over there? Let's wait on the other side by the pick and side. Or pick and safe side. Okay. And my supervisor will go talk pick to you so you, we don't have to have any more interactions. Okay, good. All right? Yeah. Because you're crazy. I'm crazy. Yo. Yeah. All right. You're the one at a post office filming. Yeah, for yeah. news. You're going to make fun of my mental health status and you'd be so oh. derogatory. If you're that, if you're that offended, get off the force, buddy. Uh, get I, off I the force. I'm offended by you taking my That's mental good for you. Cancer. That's good for you. Yeah. yeah. That's what they do. They do not pay these officers enough. They have to deal with them. No, they do not. It's a public sidewalk, right? This is not part of the federal. Oh, okay. Oh, now you can be arrested. I'm so not sure what news he thinks he's getting from the post office. So that computer that you may be filming right there contains yes. uh, information that's protected for our eyes only, not for yours. Well, that's not. You should close it. Too. That's her spot. Then she needs to close that's it. That's her little house. Then she day. needs to close it. Yeah. She doesn't have to do that. I mean, you were just giving can a, a, a <laughs> instructions <laughs> to not film things that you are not meant to see that we could get in trouble for you seeing. But we could get in trouble for you seeing. Then you need to close it. It's no. not. If I can see she's it, in she's in her squad If time. I can see it in public, I can film it. Yep. Yes. <sighs> that is the. You want some case law? I've got case law. I, I don't. I don't. I, I'm gonna be over the line for a big 
Well, I'll, I'll stay right here. We're right next to where it happened. So bad you don't work. I'm all about taking a stand. This isn't a stand. No, oh, this is him being stupid. stupid. That's why they call us. I'm, <laughs> editing, I, I'm doing a video to disseminate to public for public interest. Like, this is not being annoying. This is exercising my rights. If that's annoying to you, that's your feelings, no, not mine. No, 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 no. Your, no their, feelings, their feelings do not trump my constitutional rights. Yes. Just like if I was holding a gun or carrying a gun out here. What about their rights? What rights? They're in public. I can see them. I can film them. Yeah. Same thing. So are you a Republican? No, His rights are absolute. Their rights, fuck off. Yes. Incredibly ridiculous. That is correct, Miss Davis. You have the case law right here. Please. I want your name. Deborah Davis would love some case law. She's a lawyer. You love him all the time. I don't understand. He's asked a lot. You're allowed to ask me questions. Yes, because you're a public servant. You're a public servant. That's why. I'm not a public servant. Oh, uh, so you're a private I'm an employee here. for the city of Wauwatosa. That's, yeah, that, that's public. I'm not, public. I, I'm not a public employee. Okay, all right. So you're just private security. Then. I'm not private security. Then why the hell are you? Well, I'm an employee for the city. So are you a police officer? I'm an employee, no, employee for the city of Are you a police officer? Yes, I am. She's okay. God. Then you're a public employee. Job. Then you're a public employee. And you are bound by the confinements of the Constitution of the United States of America. Do you not understand this? The ordinances... City of Wauwatosa, laws of state of Wisconsin. Yes. And the Constitution of the United States of America. Yeah. Your rights are not being violated. Hey, you have to look at this. Look at this stuff. You're trying to violate my floor. That, that's Wisconsin. This is the Midwest, people. All, all you people all over the world in beautiful, sunny places, this is what we're doing. This is today. Yes. That's what snow today. Deborah and I are doing. No. And me. I, so I'm in the hellhole, too, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, sir? Doing good today? Man, I was just trying to take a video for news purposes man, inside of the post office. I was ejected so by... Uh, man, I'm an Lindsay. idiot. Again, I was Google, trying to be an idiot. Honor, I, can't, I, can't terrible memory. I was ejected by him, and then now he's requesting ID. Yes! Uh, because of him. He says I was causing a disturbance, which... Because you were. rights cannot be construed. As an illegal activity, you cannot cause a disturbance just because I'm taking video in public. And then he says that I'm violating other people's rights, but that they're in public. Correct. You know, now I'm on the sidewalk. I wasn't there. I'd like to finish my video. No. If I could. Wait, what? what I, I'd like to finish it inside. Video, like, I want to finish my video. You don't even have an actual purpose for the video. There is no like beginning, middle, and end. So I don't understand that. No. Well, you know, obviously they're just trying to, to, you know, create the, the issue that they have. But, you know, I honestly think the officers, I mean, it's more fun for me because it made the video a little longer so I can finish my, uh, my beverage. But, uh, <laughs> Thanks, Mike. But good. Very I think good. The, the officers should have just ignored him. Once, they, once he got him out, he's trespassed, ignore him. And then he, if he walks back in, arrest him. That's it. True. I mean, it's, now you've got, what, three officers that are spending their time with this individual when they have clearly other things to be doing. Yeah. So you're not going to let me do them? Okay, just because they don't want me doesn't mean that they can legally trespass me from the police. It's, it's federal property. Okay. Would you do me a favor and look up uh, DHS memo? Uh, there's a DHS, a DHS memo, memo about federal what? property. Yes. No, you don't look that up? What? Okay, all right. Okay. All right, sounds good, sir. Thank you. What's your name? Grants? All right, cool. Thank you. Have a good day. See ya. Have a good day. I'm sorry, buddy. I wish I could make them make those. Don't violate more people's rights, day. But. I can tell you do it often. Blow me. Are you, Deborah, the idiot? He's so butthurt right now. No. He's so butthurt he couldn't get my fucking. No, idea. you're the butthurt, sir. He's so pissed off. He's so mad. He's mad that he has to deal with this instead of actual, you know, crime. Yeah. That's police for you. Yeah, let's just lump all police officers together. That's right. They're all the same. Just. 
There she goes. Man, we got some tyrants today. Yeah, I you. Know. He went hands on quick. He got pissed off. I was standing behind him. Got pissed off quick, but he was that uh. Every time I there are sirens in the background. He didn't even talk to the guy. Uh, wait, or let me wait for the guy to tell him to keep me up. There goes supervisor. E seven three two one. And it looks like P two six seven. And then where's his? He's like, wow. God forbid I step on the public, federal, private, whatever the fuck they want to call it, property. Yeah, don't step on that grass. You think that grass is low. Yeah, don't mash it. Yeah, and he ain't going to do anything else. I'm going to leave you two there. Thank you, Deborah Davis, for joining me and Mike. Definitely, most definitely appreciated. And with that, we're going to bring part two to a close. Of course, we will have Art Bell in the overnight with John, sorry, with John Dvorak with Beyond Planet Earth. What happens after earthquakes and even into outer space. So please like, share, and subscribe, be kind to one another, and release the Krakens as we march along here from day one. Have a great evening. We'll see you in the overnight. Art Bell is next.